Hi y'all. Just now here uh, doing my little weekly service on my mower. Thought I'd give you a little footage of it. Okay. You got a small jobs to do, a couple cleanups and some hedge trim or not hedge trimming, but uh, bush trimming. They're junipers and and that. So anyway, show you what I got right now. Got my mower all jacked up and ready to roll. Change the blades. So what I'm going to be doing now is changing the blades. Don't you see? I got the jack and jack stands under the mower. Don't need that to come down on me and hurt me. Otherwise, I ain't making no money. Plus, I'm spending money. Same. Those parking brakes give out. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a couple of little wooden wood chocks underneath the back tires over there. And Stetson, he's out here helping me. For some reason, he loves to help with the mower. So I'll get you set up and we'll uh, get these blades changed out. She wrote for changing the blades. I'm gonna show you my. I just got a little uh, Ryobi impact, and this is one of those Harbor Freight cases, the Apache 3800. Fits in there beautifully. It's all I need. I don't need the big Makitas or anything. I already had this one from years ago, so just had to get new batteries. 
but anyway now i gotta go clean the air filter out check the air pressure in the tires already checked the oil i'm getting close to needing an oil change i'm at i don't know if you can see that 293 hours so i got about seven more hours i guess about two weeks before i need to change the oil again so anyway i'll take you along with me as i do the others give me just a minute all right guys i got the mower over here my air compressor sure would be nice to have a shop but since i moved here i don't have a shop I have to make do with what i got okay on this uh raptor here this hustler there's a couple things you need to know kind of snuck up on me I'm going to blow out the air filter, but right here on the arms, I don't know if you can see down in there very good, but there's stuff gets down in there and it'll stop your uh, safety switches and you won't be able to start. So when you blow out your air filter, just take the air hose and blow that out makes a big difference i fought that for a long time before i figured it out same thing on this side just blow it out no problem now all right well i'll be glad when i can get this thing washed up now i'm going to go ahead and do the air filter pressures are all good you know I, I love these little raptors here they're they're pretty good mowers now I may go up to a fast track but I like how these are these are only about 600 pounds where a fast tracks thousand or so and I don't know. I haven't decided. I'll decide when when it's time to upgrade this one. So I'm going to upgrade my walker before I upgrade that unless I have to. So I know I know it's kind of daunting 
to try and keep up with the maintenance and the service on these when you feel like you should be out making money but you are making money doing the service you keeping them running you keep them running keep them in good shape you're spending less money on repairs and you're out there able to mow more so less downtime if you ain't never had downtime this sucks that's why I have a backup mower but anyway y'all have a good one I'll catch you on the flip side this cowboy ain't very wise today so we'll do that another time y'all have a good one bye